Hey everybody, welcome to Sagebrush Soul RC and today I'm going to show you my first attempt at RC body painting by turning this Armor Granite BLX into a rat rod. So Skylar the Ramrod of Live a Little Productions saw a Proline rat rod body in a hobby shop and brought it to my attention because he knows that rat rods are like vehicular cocaine to me and he knew I would buy it. Kind of an ass like that. No he's not. No, seriously, the guy will sell anything even if it's not for his own profit. I had the body for a while and couldn't really figure out what I wanted to do with it until Vicky suggested that I paint it like a rat rod truck that I had the honor of working on. Decon. Decon is a 1946 Dodge truck built by Cam Miller and the crew at HS Customs in North Logan, Utah. Owned by Bill Williams of Willie's Garage Car Care Products. The body sits on a Chevy S10 chassis and its power plant is a turboed 6 liter LQ4. The truck's patina was left alone, but that's pretty much it. Every other inch of the ride was hit with creative genius. The only thing that I had to do with the truck was the tooled leather on the seats. That being said, Please indulge me as I digress into an I love me moment and show you some photos that I've been sitting on for the last six years. The seats were designed by Cam Miller. I took his original sketch and converted it into a leather pattern and mirrored the design for the opposite seat. Altogether I tooled around 40 skulls and if memory serves I had about 30 hours into it. Again I only did the leather work on the seat. The man, myth, and legend that did the fab work not just on the seats, but most of the fab work on the entire truck was none other than Jason Lynch, now a valued fixture at Ken Diggett Design and pretty much a TV star on Bitchin' Rides. I know it sounds like I'm name dropping, but I'm only trying to give credit where credit's due. That's bullshit. I'm totally name dropping. Still rolling. You're still recording? Just edit that part out. Okay. Because painting from the inside out is completely foreign to me, I decided to do a practice panel with a piece of clear acrylic. I used Wicked Colors Black for the darkest spots, and for the primer colors, I used Createx Transparent Gray with a couple of drops of Wicked White for opacity and to lighten it up a touch. For the body color, I mixed Wicked Orange with a little transparent dark brown. I also practiced the paint scheme for the oil barrel in the back, but I'll get to those colors a little bit later. I decided to paint the barrel first because I was going to be working in close quarters and it was going to be one of the most detailed areas of the project. I like to think that weathering is one of my strong points, but I'm also used to doing it after putting down my base colors. Not the case here. I had to try to visualize the rusty spots based on the contour of the body mold. For rust, my go-to colors are Wicked Colors Burnt Umber and Createx Transparent Dark Brown. Laying those colors in first, I followed up with Wicked Colors White. Finally, I pulled the masking and finished up with Createx Light Green mixed with a few drops of Dark Green. And I mixed these colors in the airbrush cup for a little bit of intentional inconsistency in the color to add to the weathered effect. For the rest of the body, I loosely matched the weather patterns of the full-size decon with the aforementioned paint combos. I wanted a barnwood look for the bed, so I masked the boards with fine line tape and dry brushed white, black, and gray and backed it with dark brown and failed miserably. I wanted a flat look for the truck, but I had to take some shots of it after peeling off the masking film because it did look pretty cool glossy. After sealing the inside with white paint, I hit all but the windows with a flat clear and overall I'm pretty happy with the final product. In summary, this was a fun project, but a definite learning curve due to the reverse process of painting and the limited range of motion trying to paint inside the body. Let me know what you think in the comments, and thanks for watching. Why didn't you guys tell me that that sign made it look like I had a set of antlers? <laughs> it's not funny.